nigga, you a pussy and a rat. You like Tom and Jerry, nigga, you ain't ballin', you just talkin', that's that commentary. I was in the field, man, I slayed for this. Had to talk to God, drop down and pray for this. To my surprise, he replied, say you made for this. I seen the Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very special edition of the desk, the micro edition, teeny tiny. The general's gone into retreat. The desk is my platform to rant, rave, bitch me more on things that he covers, so she debuts and its subsidiaries. This discretion is strongly advised. And yes, I said subsidiary, it's suspicious, whatever. English is not my first language, so kiss my ass. Anyway, we got a lot to talk about, not a lot of time. I'm gonna keep it short right now, cause. A, just got home. I'm exhausted. It's been a very whirlwind week, as some of you may be aware of what's going on with me, but I'll share real quick. In addition, when you're listening on the YouTube, there's a little, a little button that says like and subscribe, like a thumbs up. You give, give this video a thumbs up. I mean, I mean, give it a thumbs down if you think it stinks. It's up to you. I can't tell you how to live your life. This is America, goddammit. So you do what the hell you want to do. But uh, yeah, there's also a subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And it will help us broaden our horizons on YouTube and coming soon, Twitch. And by coming soon, I mean we're on Twitch as well, but just not a lot. Anyway, um, first and foremost, regarding me, you may have noticed in the Discord a talk of doctors and, and this, that, and the third. Um, TLDR The gimmick is I'm held together by duct tape and hope The reality is I'm actually held together by Gorilla Glue Um I wouldn't say a clean bill of health But good enough for me if That makes any sense Uh so yeah so I'm not uh I'm not on death's door yet But god damn it me and him are fighting I'm like a, I'm like a busted up Jaeger And he's just one of those weird Weird kaijus But we're, we're going back and forth that's fine so yeah, so that that is what it is, and um, I mean it's good, but like right now I'm in a lot of pain. But um, that's not your fault. It's kind of my fault. I I ran today like a lot, and I have bad wheels. So when you do that, you know, you know, yeah, age catches up to you. So anyway, uh, quick note: I'm uploading Terminal 198 right now, and just from looking at it, I haven't. Um, to give you a quick, a uh, quick, Jesus, a quick synopsis rather. Um. How do I explain this properly in ways that matter and make sense to everybody? Yeah, so I, I skimmed the show in the beginning just to upload, make sure everything where it has to go and making sure there's not too many discrepancies. And then we do little error checks and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I'm looking at 198. And just from what I've seen, uh, I'm very pleased. Shout out to all you guys. Uh, there's a lot of mat. There's not a lot of matches in the sense that there's about five or six matches. And they're all, you know... Wing bang boom, love it. That's the first thing. There's there's a there's a match here that's got more than two people, and that's just about 13 minutes. I popped a little on the inside. I was very excited, so I'm very excited to sit down and watch this show with, with y'all. Maybe on not not gonna do on Twitch. I ain't got that kind of, I ain't got that kind of power right now, but I'm looking forward to seeing how people think about this show and whatever. I know the written content wise, I've seen a lot of words. And a lot of you know work so shout out to y'all and shout out to jess because i'm looking at his joint and him and capo are just whatever um without spoiling anything they you know this they learn to be the 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 role play shot calls if you will and it's it's not you know it's not unnoticed i know some of y'all come and be like well, what do you think about suck my dick just don't ask me nothing let me just let me enjoy as a fan and I'll tell you when you're fucking up And I'll try to tell you when you're doing good But you can't because there's so many people So don't expect me to do that all the time uh, Speaking of turmoil The big question on some of you folks' minds What about 199? So uh, yeah Here's what we're doing on 199 I wanted to make sure that you guys had a week to do content Or almost a week and change Just like the same reason a riot is not on this week Because everyone's doing you know their uh, 500 stuff And I want to keep people you know, fresh Despite what fuck faces may say or you know, enemies of the state or all these weirdos that are outside looking at OCW with the little goofy comments. We see you. Some of y'all on Twitter, y'all ain't slick. Y'all not cute. Get out of here with that bullshit. So yeah, we ain't trying to kill y'all. We're trying to keep it 100. So for uh, Turmoil, I wanted to give you guys the same amount of you know time 
the issue is, you know, I'm not good with calendars. Never have been, never will be. I'll be late for my own funeral. I I shouldn't say that now. That sounds a little foreboding. But yeah, I'll be. Yeah. So suffice to say, I didn't want to have a turmoil the same week of Riot 500. Because A, I didn't want to, you know, give turmoil extra work. And then B, um, what the hell am I going to say? Yeah, and B, you know, it's Riot 500. But shit has to happen. And in the interest of being... I don't know. Just I want everyone. I want everyone to be refreshed and recharged. So what I'm doing is um, I'm posting the 199 card. It's gonna be a special card. It's not gonna be super big, but a turmoil 199 is gonna be called Saturday Night Turmoil, or maybe even Sunday Night Turmoil. I haven't decided. Probably gonna be Saturday, but I might post it on Sunday. So the short end of it is, is that in addition to doing Riot 500 in the middle of the week, I will be doing Turmoil 199 at the end of the week, Saturday or Sunday. And doing the counting, this gives you guys about eight days, maybe nine, maybe seven. I don't know. I don't care. Get it done. You'll be fine. You basically have two weekends because I'm going to post it, you know, today, tonight rather. And then you're going to have this weekend and then you'll have part of next weekend. So there'll be ample time. And all I can suggest for 199 is just, you know, take your time. Don't go nuts. Put in any last little building blocks you need to. Don't blow your load, so to speak. Don't don't do that. And just uh, keep it very simple. I, I honestly, if if I get one match a page, I mean one match and then one RP a page, I'm cool with that. Just to you know the bare minimum, because then you're gonna have that week off and that week extra change to go fucking banana sandwich titty milk on Termo 200, which you should be doing. And that being said, that's also going to be just to reiterate, Termo 200 will actually be May number uh, ooh, well May 4th. So you know next week you're gonna you're gonna have uh, this going to be on the 21st or 22nd will be Termo 199, aka Saturday Sunday night Termo. Why don't you have a specific date? Fuck you, cause cause I'm not fucking Vince McMahon. I can change dates on the fly, cause. I don't have sponsors and I, I don't give a shit. So suck it. And then uh, that show, I'll put it on Twitch. More than likely, it's going to be like a mini, uh, I don't know, a mini pay-per-view. Not pay-per-view, but I'll put it on Twitch. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. It's like four matches, I think, or five. And, you know, I'm not I'm not honestly too worried about it. It'll take a couple minutes to just get everything together. Toss it on, um, on Twitch and maybe on uh, YouTube as, you know, Tancaso de... Uh, Cantazo video that means like together video well it, it means together in in hood spanish i don't know what the fuck it means in spain you fuck spain I don't, i'm not spain puerto rican so that's where we're going with that um where else what else what else yeah so tldr for everybody else 200 terminal 200 is um may 4th resolution 12 is may 20th I decided it's been, you know, rather than go, because I'm not going to do Labor Day weekend, as I mentioned in the last podcast, and I don't necessarily want to do June, because, I, I don't know, I just feel it's time, and uh, the buzz of actual WrestleMania is kind of wearing off, so, you know, there won't be that much of a runoff in ideas and, and thoughts, so with that being said on Mania, I need you guys to do me a solid and to please listen to this and understand this. Wow. What was I saying? Oh, there, there we go. Yeah. Make sure that your updated cut is available. ASAP. What does that mean? That means that if I tell my art team, yo, grab, you know, this guy. Got him. That's it. If I say, yo, grab this guy. And they say, I can't find him. Well, then you're not in the artwork. If there's artwork, if I have to chase you down for artwork, there's going to be an issue. So please don't put me in that position to chase people up. If your car is up- uploaded with the proper tag, there shouldn't be an issue. Just make sure that whatever look you're going for is up there right now. Now, that's not to say that, uh, you know, you, you know, if you have a special attire, don't put that up there because that'll kind of spoil it more or less but just you know keep something that we can grab that's i'll give you an example there's a there's a guy on uh, 198 tomorrow who 
got a slight bit of a makeover. And if we use his old car, it's kind of bland. But the new one is, is very dope. So, you know, it's things like that. And speaking of uh, Lucian, most of it's booked and it's terminal to... Oh, yeah. Well, well first, let's, let's go with Lucian. And I apologize for my little scattered brain, but bro, I've been, I've been up since like 4 o'clock. No, I'm not some bullshit. About 4.35 o'clock. I'm a little out of it. I just want to have a, have a little drink, relax, put on some Icy Hot. It's actually... What the hell is this called? Hold on. It's not Icy Hot. It's something else. It's some extra drink shit. It's called... I got it in front of me. Hold on. Premier... Premier Pain Spray Roll On. A miracle in, in every bottle. Temporarily relief aches and pains. Minor sports injuries, back aches, sore muscles, arthritis, sprains, muscle cramps. So I, everything I listed, I got like like five of them. So I'll be having a date with uh with some vodka and some pain spray. A little bit is a monster hunter world. Shout out to Monster Hunter World, by the way. Fuck you, Pink Rathian. Suck my dick. So yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, Lucian. So Lucian, most of it's is, is booked. Um, I don't want to give away the surprises because that's just that's whack. As far as Terminal Two Hundred goes, a lot of that is booked as well. Um, you kind of you kind of shit out of luck if um you know if there ain't something for you at Terminal Two Hundred, then you know we did what we could. So what I recommend for you, however, is um. Especially for you new kids. Speaking of which, you know, welcome to new folk. I know there's a couple new guys. Don't remember names. Uh, oh, one of them is uh, Cobra's friend. Not uh, not Quartz. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, Quartz is actually Cobra's real life friend. They go to Chipotle together often. And uh, for some reason, uh, Quartz never told Cobra he joined OCW. And I don't know, long story short, check the Discord, scroll up. It's it's a very funny read and very crazy. He's the third man. I, I don't know how else to explain it. That's kind of an inside joke. That's a, that's all our problems we have in OCW, a lot of inside a lot of inside shit. So what it is what it is. But yeah, um two hundred is pretty much booked. I won't spoil the matches, but everything booked that has a point. My point for rookies, more or less, is if uh, you're not on, most of y'all ain't on. We tried to get as many people on, but if you're not on, you're not on. That's what it is. I would suggest that if you're a rookie, like, I mean, when I mean rookie, I mean like, like you joined within the last two weeks. That's not to say you can't be on 200. Obviously, you can't because it says it in, in very large green letters. Rookies, if you are not booked, you're free to submit content. By all means, you know, do a introduction role play so we can see who the hell you are and learn something, or you know, just, just, just get feelers out there and let us know what kind of character you have. But don't kill yourself. Now, as far as uh, shit, turn. Oh, I'm sorry, not turn. Oh, resolution twelve goes. That's uh, it's coming along. And as I said, make sure your your cuts are available because we have plans for everybody. Well, not I shouldn't say everybody. We have plans for a lot of people. But we're going to need those cuts because the artwork has been, you know, the foundation of the artwork has been done. Uh, how do I how do I explain this? The building blocks of the of of the direction of art that I want for Lucian 12 has been in the work since uh, January, early January. So we have the framework. So now it just comes in putting the assets to the framework. Shout out to Cass, by the way, for that. I appreciate that. And the actual arena for 12 will not be available just yet. It's going to wind up being within three, two to three weeks of the Lucian date. So you'll have between two to three weeks to do your matches. I know that's not what you're used to, but fuck you. Deal with it. I don't know what else to tell you. If you can't get your match done within two, three to two weeks, two to three weeks, <laughs> you might not need to be here. That's, you know, f- facts. Uh, the turmoil... Uh, the Terminal 200 arena is already out there, so you already know that. Uh, what the hell was I saying? There was another something about an arena. Oh, yes. The Lucian 12 arena is actually... We're going back to the Tokyo Dome, and we're actually going to use a dome this time. So there's not going to be any issue with day and night cycles. Because, God, you people are fucking... Oof. So, yeah. So we're going we're gonna to keep it. We're going back to the Tokyo Dome. It's going to be dope as usual. And... As far as, uh, you know, the outdoor stuff, uh, we got Summerside for the outdoor stuff. So we got that covered. 
Um, a quick word on the arenas for Riot 500 and Terminal 200. There's going to be an edited version of the 200 arena and the 500 arena. Those new arenas will actually be the arenas we're using for the shows moving forward. So moving forward, uh, after 200, Termo will be in the the uh, the Barclays Center, a bigger venue. And it, that new look and logo, that's going to be Termo for the next for the remainder of the season. Uh, the same thing goes for Riot. I'm saying it now. I'll say it on the Discord, if I can remember. I'll say it on the cards, if I can remember. I'll say it on the shout box. I'll say it on the forums, which I will remember. And you're responsible for using the new arenas moving forward for the season so if you really want to get on my bad side feel free to not take in any information use the old arena and then be bitched out by a very grumpy very injured angry person i.e me so please be aware of that and what else do we have what else do we got what else do we got i'm not you know what, I think uh, that might be it. But um, before I go, actually, there, there is one thing else. This is a mini episode, so don't expect um, any any fantasticalness and, and, and super jewels dropping. You already guys already know about equity. You already know about not burning yourself out. I already said what's up to the new rookies. Some of y'all, here, here's another thing, too, with, with, the, with the rookies. Um, you guys say you read the handbook. Cool. But then you ask questions that are in the handbook. Like... Who do I talk to to be tested? It's literally in the handbook. So now, what I might say to that is it might be like, yeah, not scrolling down completely because the handbook is actually four sections uh, when you go through it. So just, you know, I don't know what else. I, I don't know if I, should, like, do I need to make that stuff like yellow? Like, things like that. I'm not really mad, but it's just kind of strange. We got people like, oh, I've read the handbook a bunch of times. Cool. Who do I talk to to get FPR tested? It's in the fucking handbook. I don't know. You know. I don't know. It's there. Information is pretty updated for the most part. Speaking of uh, <laughs> updated information, there was an issue on last turmoil. Actually, was it turmoil or riot? No, no. Uh, I don't remember. I think it was turmoil. Regarding um, a submission finisher and uh, an impact finisher together. I'm not trying to rehash that whole issue, but I wanted to clarify it. Like right now, to the best of my ability, because maybe it's easier to say it than it is to type it. But um, in the beginning of the new season, this season that we're in currently, I wanted to have submission finishers be a viable option. And as always, in the democratic process, when it comes to things that I'm not all too familiar with, because a know-it-all knows nothing, and I don't ever claim to know everything at all. In fact, I'm a very uh, dumb, smart person, if you will. So... The consensus was nah, not chill, which is fine. So my, my, uh, I guess, what the hell is that what I'm looking for? Uh, my concession or my um, whatever deal. It's funny. Every time I need to, to get the word, I can't get the word out. <laughs> but the, uh, the workaround, oh my God. The caveat, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> yo, it fucking happens every time. Now Cass is going to be like, this is the word. He's going to say the word over and over and, and hope that I get it. And I'm not going to get it. Uh, yeah, no, it's literally in front of me, but I can't see it. The discrepancy, no. The workaround, no. The caveat, nah. The deal, the deal kind of works, but there's another word to it. It's right in front of me, but I'm not gonna get it anyway. So, so what we, what we decide, what I decided was, all right, bet. So you can hit a finisher, an impact finisher, and then you can go for um, your submission finisher. Now, the idea behind that was you're, you're, you're using two finishers to get your submission. And that's two instances to be reversed. Now, in that statement, there was no talk about, about a, a pin attempt. Now, if you look at the actual rules above the submission stuff, it should be changed now. But if not, I'll change it right now. It always says to, you can end the match on X, Y, Z, you know, whatever, after you have a pin attempt. So here's the, the weird discrepancy. You can end the match with a sub after you hit a, a finisher and the guy kicked and your opponent kicked out. But that sub doesn't necessarily have to be a submission finisher. So the the way it broke down was is that I left out the pin attempt because it's an actual sub finisher. 
So that's basically, as I said, that's uh, that's two two attempts to be reversed to get your sub finisher. Whereas normally you need a pin attempt, and you you know you can just hit a fucking you know a camel clutch or a pepperton sleeper or whatever. Now I know it's a little bit confusing, but if you if you break it down, it might make sense. If if not, I don't know what to fucking tell you because half the time I'm I'm confused as well. But uh, the bottom line is, we're, we're just in the in the interest of just keeping it simple, we'll just hey, you want to end up with a, with a sub finisher, hit impact finisher and pin, problem solved. Like you know, in that argument, no one was really wrong, but you know, people are gonna argue. And, it, and it's always the thing with OCW. Like we'll get two three pages real quick on F on any like FPR stuff, but then actual content, you got to kind of pull teeth. Shout out to guys like Justin, just always trailblazing. And uh, taste making to get that discussion going. We appreciate you, especially appreciate that you guys kind of hit all the ne- hit all the buttons, and then people can actually bounce off that. So just know it's not being um, ignored, at least for me. I appreciate it greatly, thank- and thank you for that. And um, what else we got? And again, I apologize, dude. I'm I'm exhausted, so sorry. I ain't high energy and, and full of power. Pow, powerful. Kiss my ass. Um. Where I was like, oh, yes. I see a lot of rookies, at least in the advice channels or whatever, and uh, the rookie, the other rookie channels saying, hey, is, does anyone want to feud? Hey, does anyone want to work? You know, work. There's nothing wrong with that. But you got to also know that in OCW, fishing doesn't really work all the time. I mean, sometimes you get, hey, we're both rookies let's work together and then you know you get something sometimes you come in with friends and y'all work together and you get something but most of the time it always comes down to uh, again with equity like you see two guys operating right and then like maybe their their feud finishes and they both turned out looking you know looking pretty good you're like oh man i want to work with that dude you know and then that's how you that's how you hook up generally just saying hey you want to work with me it's not really going to get you going especially if you bounce around between alts and um and uh and and mains as a rookie speaking of there's like uh there's an example now of a rookie who i feel his his alternate character which is fresh off the boat is already kind of more defined than his main character you know it's weird how it works sometimes you just got sometimes that happens sometimes it doesn't it's just strange that you know something to keep aware of a lot of times you gotta do what works or works for you like if you're not familiar with playing something don't give it you know you might not be good at doing it like i've never really strayed from being for the most part what whatever i write usually just portrays kind of just me dialed up a little bit which is very irreverent offensive and kind of just very red fox and like ugh. that that's pretty i've been like that for the longest time so it's really hard for me to be something else like i've done a little bit of dramatic writing and i thought it was good but you know it's up to interpretation. Some people might thought it was corny. Some people might thought it was trash. Who the fuck knows? Like my brown coat feud back in the day with the, the the prison stuff and the sensational sentencing and the power struggles and the yada yada yada. Like there's all kinds of weird. But my my main goal was uh, the the madcap stuff. And it kind of sucks that these aren't available on video. But you know some of the writings are good. Like uh, the the restaurant fight in Mugen's Step, the steakhouse. It was fucking hilarious. I enjoyed writing that. I enjoyed collaborating. I looked that up again. It made me it made me laugh. But I say that to say this. You know, just kind of fishing out there and saying, oh, no one wants to work with me. You got to crow before you can walk. And not not every time are we going to have anything for you to begin with because it's just so many people. So we don't, you know, it's not every time we can give you an idea. Sometimes it'll come to us, but sometimes you got to just, you know, tumble around on the spin cycle on warm. And maybe one day they'll come to you one time or whatever. Uh, And speaking of that, there's some of y'all, you can't expect to be like top tier out the gate. When I say that, like, I mean, there's a dude, a rookie who he's beating himself up because he's getting waxed in DMs. That doesn't like we're not here to, to, you know, pat your tushy and be like, oh, it'll be okay, little guy. But. When you got people saying, don't worry about it. That, that should mean something. You don't, don't worry about it. You're still a rookie. As long as your name's green, you can kind of fuck up till the cows come home. For the most part, unless you're like, you know, shithead who got banned. But uh, yeah, you kind of got free reign to like crawl before you can walk. And 
and take your lumps and learn and ask questions and people are like, hey, go ahead, sure. Or hey, don't worry about it. It's once you become promoted from rookie where you're held to a, a slightly higher standard and where when you do dumb shit, that's when you catch more heat. When you're a rookie, no one really expects shit out of rookies. That's why we kind of just are, are, are like seals when a rookie does what they're supposed to do because we're just, we're just not used to it. So it's a pleasant surprise. I'm like, oh, hey, he got his, uh, you know, he's a sharp knife in the, in the tool shed or a sharp knife on the, I don't know where I was going with that, but you get, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, don't stress it. Don't worry too much about it. It'll come to you. And if it doesn't come to you, it'll come to you eventually because OCW, again, keep repeating ourselves, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Like a guy like Bobby Minio could write most of OCW under the bus on the microphone as he says or with the pen he is fucking really just like top tier no questions about it sure a little long winded definitely but on the on the microphone just crazy which is why you know back then I'm like yo I want to see a versus uh, Bobby Many of you because versus again another amazing writer shout out to versus you know we miss you bro we'll see you again soon but um he's a really good writer legend good all around good guy you know behind the scenes as well and when the time came that they were both in the in the company at the same time i was like this is going to be a lucian match because this is two of the best writers and sure enough the writing was amazing and the angle was great bobby came out of a volcano don't ask me why look it up sometime so i, I use bobby as the example because throughout bobby's career he was never really great at the game his great his greatest cra- uh, claim to fame was losing uh contendership matches like three four or five times and just now which is what he joined 2014 2013 maybe 13 14 15 16 17 18 like i don't know six seven years later i think that was six i can't count but like six years later now he's gonna you know at 500 fighting for a belt and there's a good chance for championship brother and there's a really good chance he might win so I know some of y'all are like, I don't want to wait six years. Get out. That's all I got to tell you. Some people get opportunities sooner than others. Some people never get an opportunity. Eventually, they get an opportunity. Everyone's everyone's road is different. And you can use that to say, oh, it's politics or, oh, it's this or it's that or it's favoritism or it's the good day or this the day or whatever you want to use to help you sleep at night. But at the end of the day, you usually get to where you got to get to and the most the most fun part and this is from people i've spoken to up and down years you know guys who've been here for 9 10 11 12 5 whatever years the journey is actually the most fun part not exactly the destination because as you know all the old vets they all held championships and they are not eager to get those ever again it's about the journey of getting what you want and then what do you do after that to keep things interesting and spicy and fun? Some people are like, oh, I want to break this record. Or, oh, I want to uh, be at Lucian. Or, oh, I want to main event Lucian. Or, oh, I want to open Lucian. Or, oh, I want to, you know, there's all kinds of, everybody has little goals. So in closing, enjoy your journey. Enjoy your time here. And don't focus so much on the on the 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 how maybe the why why do i enjoy myself i don't know that's fake that's fake zen for me hope you enjoy that so yeah basically don't don't try too hard don't don't get too too much inside yourself and your fee and your feelings or whatever just just go for it man you'll get to where you got to get to and learn and practice take people give you information some people might give you bad information but some people keep people give you good information pick up on things it's not difficult there's plenty of people here that have, that have you know progressed in different intervals and in different uh speeds or whatever just go at your own pace and enjoy the journey and as usual if you got any comments questions or concerns you can hit me up on discord on the forum on youtube on twitch and on discord i think i said that already that's gonna do it for me now I'm gonna render this video, play me some Monster Hunter, and I'm gonna take my old ass to bed. And I'm also post 199, 
in closing flojo suck my dick fucking asking me when i put the show up fuck out of here fucking you mean my fucking boss fuck out of here with that shit and also speaking of which don't do that shit either don't do something to go oh no one noticed me who gives a fuck just do it for you that shit is not that's not a good look that shit is corny seriously Oh, I did a thing and nobody cared. I'm gonna type about it. <laughs> Fuck you. Get out of here with that bullshit. Seriously. If you if you if you here to do stuff and then hope people pat your tushy, blow your nose, and be all oh, that's amazing. You got it's not gonna happen all the time. Sometimes it might, but for the most part it might not. You gotta do things that make you, you know, enjoy your time. If it's just about getting accolades, you you might you're not gonna get accolades all the time and what else oh yeah fuck you too adam another one oh with um oh he pushes you to the moon and then you know you just you're, you're, yeah he casts you aside that's, just, that's what he does it is now day two or three where the fuck is this proof about me you know picking and choosing and pushing i am still waiting for this motherfucker please provide these facts please because it ain't me because what what it is is a lot of times I'll talk about somebody because they stay in my head and what they do is kind of entertaining to me or, or whatever. But that's just the way it is. Like, you know, I fall quickly in and out of love for any and all things. Take Warframe, for example. Fucking, I was like, ah, da, 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 da. and one day I was like, man, but just because I did that don't mean that, you know, when it comes to when it comes to like competitors or whatever, that doesn't mean that like, oh, well, then. I'm tired of his face. That's not book him again. That that's not how that works. People gonna do what they do, and if they fuck up, that's on them. It ain't on me. You could ask anybody. We help facilitate, not negate. Unless you're a shithead, then I will negate the fuck out of you. Cause I don't like you. I'm just kidding. Who knows? I don't know. Ask people how I work. Even if I don't like a motherfucker, I'll still give them the benefit of the doubt. So yeah. So please give me that proof, Adam. I'm still waiting on that proof, Adam. Give me that fucking proof, Adam. Where is it? Is it upside? Is it up top? How about you put your pants on, right? How about you don't play video games ass naked with your door unlocked, wind up getting raped or some shit? How about you go upstairs and find your fucking fact sheet and hit the little check boxes and find out what the fuck you talking about? Because I'm still waiting. It's going to be day motherfucking three and I ain't heard shit. I'm still waiting for these fucking facts. You want to talk about Flojo? Here's Flojo. Flojo got put over as a joke by the hoots, right? Boom. And then Flojo got a big head. And it's like, oh, Flojo tried to big time motherfuckers. And it's like, that ain't working that way. So people stop talking. But it ain't on us. That's on Flojo for not, you know, for Flojo being like, oh, I want to do this and do that. I'm like, don't do that. He, Flojo's coming out with these weird ideas. I'm just just linking images and shit. Like I'm supposed to be st- just stop what I'm doing and be like, oh, what is he doing right now? Nah, nah. Hey, I want to do this. It's not a good idea, man. Does it anyway? <laughs> the fuck you expect? And when it doesn't go over, that ain't on me. That's on fucking you. Cause I said don't do that. that mind you, this is back in the, this is like months ago. That's what I'm saying. Like that has nothing to do with me. Anybody else, they ain't got shit to do with me. So please give me these facts. All right? How about, oh, what a, maybe, maybe you want to go, oh, what about Capo? What about Capo? He's trash on, on the game, on the mic. Great. Love him to death. Even though that last role play with the deli was a little, I don't know, man, a little. It was, it was very, very meta. Made me a little, slight little bit uncomfortable. It, it felt a little bit too much, uh, what the fuck is that? Too much of a Bronx tale. Brought me back to Arthur Avenue. Got a little worried. Hey, what are you doing there, fucking Jose? Why well, you stand next to the fucking Jeep, Jose? Go away from the Jeep, Jose. My name is not Jose, motherfucker. Anyway, I, know. I got some PTSD. And fucking stood not. I don't know, it's a little meta. I see you out there, Cap. But yeah, but no, nah, Cap is trash in the ring. I mean, he learning, but he's, you know, it's coming eventually. But that's what I'm saying. So who who else? Speaking of, speaking of shit, bullshit, how the fuck we gonna have? We gonna have the survey, right? We gonna have the, the, the power ranking. How the fuck is Jess not on that ranking? Someone answer me that question. Seriously. Because there's about 21 of you motherfuckers. Actually, no, 20, if you include me. And that's not even all of y'all. Because I know it didn't go to all of y'all because all some of y'all can't even be allowed near a fucking survey. <clears throat> Trash. Some of y'all can't be allowed near shit. <clears throat> Mugen, you know. So, how the fuck does... does how the fuck does, does Ryu Matsumoto come in number 15? But fucking Justin Jahast, who has been every fucking every fucking week bang 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 every fucking week son every week every week and y'all can't put y'all, y'all can't put him on that list now 
none of y'all did, did some of y'all not vote what, what happened with that what's up with that I, I fucked up my mix i think i may have fucked up my microphone with this that's how i'm passionate i am with that really how the fuck is now on that list that, that's a, that's weird to me i need to get it together i need to get that shit together or this bomb all right there you go you got a little oh uh, you got a little weird freak out so you can enjoy that all right i'm, I'm, I'm done in the words of Jim Cornette, thank you, fuck you, bye. I'll see you next week for Ride 500 and my migraine headache. Ride 500, turmoil Saturday, Sunday night turmoil, 199. So yeah, here's my here's to my headache. Good night. God damn it. <laughs>